guys welcome back to my youtube channel welcome 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 karibu 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 <laughs> welcome karibu is welcome in swahili hmm. i think you should stay tuned because i'll be teaching you swahili words which as <laughs> Yeah, I'll be teaching you Swahili words for all my subscribers who are Swahili speakers. So, watch out. So, today I'm going to tackle the simple topic on things to buy when moving out. In short, essentials to buy when you're moving out, when you want to like start life and stay on your own. So as usual I will start with a short story. So it is at this point that you've gotten a job or you like your business has you finally started a hustle. Though I had hustle is a bad word so let me just say you started grinding and some money is coming in and you're like no I need to move out you can't stay home because we all know the pressure of staying home we need to be home by a certain type of that curfew. Where is the curfew ya kuingia nyumbani? Number two, you can't go for those debts as often as you want to because also it's not okay if you come from a conservative African parenting like where I come from, it's not a good show. Your parents would say anything at first, but then they'd be like, hmm, I'm in kituka, I'm in Number three, if like you can't go for those sleepovers that you always want to go, huh? Those sleepovers. Even if it's a harmless sleepover, like you're going to sleep at your friend's house, your girlfriend's house, or if you're a man, your male friend's house, your colleague's house, you're just going to hang out with the boys or the girls. It's you can't do all those things. But there are some people who like they they manage to do all that <laughs> when they still stay at home and congrats if you do all that. But if you're staying at home, there's kinda a level of restriction to doing all that. Yes, there's some freedom you'll do, but it's, it's there's still some restriction. So, also number four, we all crave for independence, and moving out is, a, is an easy way for being independent. Yeah. So you are moving out, you want to start life, and you're wondering, hmm, what are the things that I need to buy? So I will list down essentials. I will actually tell you the essentials for buying when you're moving out, so that. You don't forget anything, huh? Anything. So the first essential is a mattress. You need a mattress. I think that one is on everyone's list, and I don't think anyone for, can forget that. So a mattress, that's it. The second essential is a blanket. Blankets. It can either be a duvet, or a, this blanket is a kawaida, or a big shawl, or anything that you can cover yourself with when it's at night. So blankets and sheets and beddings. So the first one is a mattress, the second one is a blanket and sheets. The third one is a gas or a jiko or a stove. Something that you can use to cook. Huh? In Kenya it's a gas cooker or a stove, depending on your budget, either of those three. The third one is utensils, cups, spoons, sufurias or cooking pots, uh, plates, knives, spoons. Uh, Fox, though fox is not as an essential, but fox, sieves, uh, all those things, the utensils. Define what sorts of utensils you want in your house and list them down. And then, so, you see, basins, I don't know which number I'm on, basins, and then basins and buckets and all those things. And depending on the place where you're going to stay, make sure, find out if they have a water problem. You see, in most houses in Nairobi, there's a water issue. So if there is, you need a, as much storage for water as you can. So as many containers that you can and jerry cans, you need them. And you don't need so many things. I've said basics. The others can be termed as a luxury and you can buy them if your budget is high. Like bed, sofas, fridge, TV, uh, what else? All those things. Oh, 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 before I go on, curtains. Obviously your house needs a curtain. So, the sixth one is a curtain. Curtains for the windows and the doors. Doors. <laughs> so, those are the essentials. The rest are like a luxury. But if you need to move out, you don't need so much. It's just those ones. Utensils. 
uh, what basins and buckets. What is this? Number three, a mattress, and number four, blankets and sheets, curtains. Uh, yeah, I think this one's only, and a gas cooker. Number six. So those things, those are the main essentials you need. So if you have aside from that and you still have extra money, you can buy a bed and start off life having a bed. You can also buy sofas, fridge, TV, all those other things that you you see are like an essential to you. So that's it for today. Uh, today there's been so much noise. My sister in the bathroom, my neighbor's child. Doors being opened and closed and now finally a dog is barking. I don't know what is happening, but I hope this is helpful to you as much as it is to me and I hope you've learned from it. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button. I will really appreciate you. Thank you so much. That's it for today. Bye. See you guys next week. And I post at least on every Tuesday. And I'll try to be posting twice a week on Tuesdays and on Thursdays. So stay tuned. Click the notification below so that turn on the notification bell so that anytime you upload a new video, you're notified. Thank you guys. Bye.